A city facing an extended lockdown so doctors can get to grips with the flare-up of COVID-19. In the east of the city, the army has been called in to run mobile testing stations. There have been more than 800 positive results in two weeks, almost a third of all the cases reported in Leicester during the whole epidemic. Sophia came for a test after losing her sense of taste. She knows several people with the virus and says it's wise to be cautious. I think safety comes first, don't you agree? We need to keep moving, but I think we move slowly with some restrictions. Public Health England has told the city authorities that pubs and restaurants should remain closed for another two weeks. Mixing indoors would be too great a risk. Unchecked coronavirus cases can quickly rise in the national lockdown in March. A delay of just a week may well have led to several thousand extra deaths. Public health officials are anxious that the virus doesn't start spreading all over again. But the mayor says the evidence is unclear on how that would help. If the statistics are right, the virus is already spreading under the current restrictions. While the rest of England is... uh... Re, uh, coming out of, of lockdown, we would somehow have to remain within it. Well, uh, that's fine if it is necessary, if they can prove it's necessary, of course we'd go for it. But they have not provided the evidence that it is necessary or that it would make any difference. If the extended lockdown is confirmed, it would add to the pain for local businesses. At the Market Tavern, Stuart has so far poured 7,000 pints down the drain. He'd hoped to open this weekend. A delay would eat into his overdraft still further. I'm not an emotional person. I've had a couple. I've welled up a few times in front of the missus. And it's like it ain't nice. It just it didn't, you sit there and go, what do I do now? Turnover wise, we're already down 150, 200 thousand. Just alone, that another two weeks, and it's another, another nail in the coffers. Some pubs. I'll, I'll get through. We'll be alright. Because I say customers around here, that I think some of the smaller pubs will go. And one local doctor has warned that people who flee the city this weekend to celebrate the end of national lockdown elsewhere could take the virus with them. The, the more we disseminate, the greater the risk of, uh, of producing a wider, um, a, a wider secondary peak. There's no doubt about that. The more contact people have uh, uh, and the, the, the greater the population density, uh, particularly indoors, the greater the risk. And it's just a numbers game. This won't be the last local flare-up. The national lockdown has been eased before the virus has been completely eliminated. And the Prime Minister has said a -a whack-a-mole strategy would be used wherever it returns. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Leicester.